Here we have Shark Tank by Hexbug, part of the Aquabot 2 play range. And what you can see in this box is you get an angelfish, which is the new Aquabot 2 technology, as well as this giant shark. And the box itself shows you the size of the actual fish tank that's included inside here. What I'm going to do in this video is unbox this, set it all up, fill it with water, and let's just see how long it takes for the shark to capture its first Aquabot. Here we have the tank full of water. It's slightly blue, but really nice and sturdy. I'm quite happy with that. And it's got a nice solid feel to it and nice smooth edges. The angelfish, like lots of the um, Hexbug Nana fish, is secured in by almost invisible elastic bands. So you need to snip that free to uh, release your fish. You also get included three different types of coral. So two are actually uh, near identical green ones and a blue one, which you can just drop in because they're weighted on the bottom. So I can just drop those in. Okay, I dropped it in and it turned over, but they're weighted, so they'll stay put. Let's pop a green one over there and another green one over there. Now, the all important piece to this, of course, is the shark. The shark's fantastic. It's, it's already mounted, so it comes ready to play. And all you do is you slot it into this part here. So one side of the hexagonal fishing bowl has actually got a special receiving lug into which you slide the blue pole that the shark's mounted on. Now it's really great fun because all you need to do is now push and as he slides down the shark opens his mouth and then closes it and hopefully if you've been good at fishing you've then got yourself a hex bug aquabot fish in its mouth. So that really is the idea of this and you've got two points here, one for pushing and one for pulling, so you can reload it. So you just gotta think about it, and it's all about your timing, so it's not an electronic toy here, this is you interacting with your fish. You're now playing the shark, which I think is great fun, because catching the fish is what it's all about. So you can get a little bit splashing, so perhaps on this area you want to put a towel down, etc. but I think it's high tide to get the Aquabot fish swimming around in the tank. Again, no need for buttons, already supplied, fully powered with batteries. Drop him in and he's ready to go. Now, luckily, the Aquabot hasn't looked up yet and he doesn't know there's a shark just above him, but it's really quite nicely positioned. The nose of the shark is just above the top of the water. And what I really like about the hexagonal shaped bowls is the fishes actually go through the middle area. They don't just stick to the edges like they do on round bowls. So actually, this hexagonal shaped bowl has become my favorite bowl for these aquabots and uh, will certainly be used more and more. So luckily I've already knocked the um, air off that fish by dropping in so there's no issues with uh, buoyancy and as you can see he's flipping around flapping around and diving and fully exploring the um, the environment. Now obviously the shark's position is fixed so I do need the the fish to go into the center area of the bowl so I've got to play a little bit of waiting game on this on the fish and try to keep my reactions ready for whenever the fish goes in front of me now of course to uh, increase uh, a little bit more my chances and so that you guys can see a little bit more fun going on i'm also going to drop in a couple of other aquabot two fish one's actually a hammerhead shark the blue one but the pink one's also an angel fish along with the yellow and what we're going to do now we've got a few fish in here and I'll need to knock the bubbles off the pink one. I can see he's got a few bubbles on him. And have I seen the shark dive yet? I'm not sure, so I'm gonna tap him a few times. So now they're all well settled and swimming around. I'm gonna let them all do a lap, make sure they are doing well. There goes the pink angel fish. The yellow one's actually really fast. The pink one's got his nose in the corner of the bowl. And this is what really I like about this because that actually helps the fish change direction. And changing direction, I think, is something that you don't often see in a round bowl, so I think it's quite good. And although the pink fish didn't do it just then, I'm sure one of these three guys will do it just for us in this video. So what I very much now need is a fish. Now I should have been a little bit quicker there because the blue fish, the blue hammerhead shark was almost in the center of the bowl and I need to be a little bit quicker on my shark reactions here. So certainly I've got a hungry great gray shark here above the water and uh, I'm going to try to see if I can snap one or more and nearly, I nearly had a hammerhead shark there but not quite quick enough and he didn't quite go in front of my shark the way I wanted it to. And you've got to get your line of sight right, of course water Okay, so to get serious about catching these guys, I need to get above so I can see what I'm doing, as you would if you were playing yourself. Oh, I nearly got myself a blue hammerhead shark there. I'll reset my shark, keep its jaw open. 
Now these pink and yellow guys were hanging around and hiding in the corner. This is brilliant. If they all collide over there, they're going to come towards me. Nope, the yellow and the blue and the pink again, all hiding underneath the shark. They're very clever. Oh, I think I'm going to get a chance here. If I go too early and I upset the jaw of the great shark, then I miss my chance, my opportunity. Now the hammerhead shark is deciding which way to go. Oh, I need a good chance here. I need a bit of luck. As you can see, they're all hiding from me. That yellow one came tantalizingly close, but I don't think it was actually going to be uh, in reach of my shark's grab. Come on, that blue hammerhead. And the yellow one's really daring me. It keeps daring me. Now what I'm going to do also is turn the lights off so you can see the uh, luminescent glow that these guys have got. So they've all got LEDs in. And I'm hoping that's going to really help me keep an eye on them. Oh, did I get that yellow fish? I missed, I missed. I nudged it to the left. So as you can see, they're all glowing. And they've actually got an LED on the back of the fish that actually goes along the length of the body and comes out of the eyes. So they're all very similar with their pink lights. But because the fish themselves are all different colours, the light looks brilliantly different. So the yellow fish really does look particularly vivid. And the hammerhead, I would say, although he's got the dimmest looking lights, he's got the best looking eyes because that really does come along. That light really does come along with some very clever plastic in the body of the fish along the stems and out and actually curve out both ways along the actual fish's uh, head there. So it's really, really quite pretty. Right, too much talk, not enough grabbing. Let's see whether I can get any of these fish into this jaw of my shark. Now they're all very scared and all clearly avoiding me because they're doing quite a good job at the moment. Now we obviously need a few fish in here to catch a fish because if you only have one, there's a chance that it's going to go around the edges and not come across the middle of the bowl. So the more the merrier. So certainly with this fish tank, and I think it's certainly big enough, I don't think there'll be a problem getting six fish in here. Now currently we've got three nano, he, he, sorry, Hexbug Aquabot 2 type fish in. I'm going to quickly drop in some Aquabot version 1 fish. Now these are the ones that haven't got lights. I'm going to turn the lights back on now so that you and I can see them clearly. Now they've gone and grabbed each other, these two, so I'm just going to separate them because the game here is for my shark to catch them, not for them to catch each other. I do believe I've just caught myself a blue hammerhead shark. So in the mouth of my shark here, I've now caught my first kill. My first catch is a hammerhead shark too. Let's see what I can catch next. Now there's a few of them hiding underneath the shark. So absolutely because I've cluttered the area with a few more fish, they're going to bounce and interact with each other a bit more. And there's, there are increased chances therefore coming through into the middle area and under my shark waiting to pounce. Now at the moment, the older fish are magnetically grabbing each other's tails a little, a little bit more. Now that always was one of the characteristics of those fish. And even the new twos do it. I'd love to go down and grab all those fish, but they're just cleverly hiding underneath where my jaw can't get. That yellow fish, can I grab it? No, I missed. Just, just did have a chance, but I missed. I'm going to free these fish up again. In fact, these older fish, I'm sure, are causing more chaos than they are. Oh, that green fish turned around very clever. The old Aquabot 1 there managed to avoid being grabbed by me. Yeah, I think he saw it coming. He saw the shadow in the water and quickly did a quick turnaround on the side here. And what I really want to do is to catch one more fish. Oh, I missed the pink one. He dived right underneath where I could have grabbed him. That's my terribly slow reactions there. I need to really speed up my reactions. It's just quite a new a new game here. Now, the yellow fish has stopped swimming because he's been in for a long time, so is the pink fish. Now, what I'm going to do is carefully take away the old version one fish because these two guys are floating around. They're, they're actually gone to sleep because they've been playing for five minutes. Now, if I tap the side of the bowl or they knock into each other, they're going to wake up again. So let me just quickly show you that. Now, that only happens with the new Aquabot 2 fish. So if you want to carry on playing, all you've got to do is tap on the bowl, wakes them up or interact with them. They've got a kind of jog sensor and that just lets you not flatten their batteries if you leave the room unattended etc and you forget you've got your fish flapping around in the water so it's a great battery lifesaver and it saves you having to uh, feed these guys too many batteries for too many long too many times 
Now, at the moment, the only one I want to feed is my great grey shark. And although he's already had one hammerfish shark, I do think sharks are cannibals in real life as well, um, I really would like to catch one of these angelfish, because otherwise these angelfish are going to just be impossible to catch. And this pink guy, I've already found problems. He's managed to evade my best great grey shark. My old original Aquabot 1 shark can't catch him either. So um, I'm really looking for a new powerful shark and I hope this is the guy that can teach these Aquabot 2s a lesson. So they might be smart, but uh, if I'm smart enough, I should be able to catch one. Now at the moment they're still doing a very good job of diving and hiding and ducking just where I don't want. Now what I'm going to think I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to move some of this coral to the edges and change some of their swimming habits because the only way they're going to get around that is to either go up a bit or to move around a little bit and I think that's uh, me being a bit sneaky but I'm on the shark side in this game so let's just see whether I can tempt all these fish into the middle area with some of the coral at the moment the pink fish is deciding to uh, turn around the yellow fish is still going around quite merrily and he's not too obsessed with the sides that coral they've decided between them to push back into the centre and I was too slow, too slow I really need to get quicker but I think I'm trying to be careful not to do too many splashes so I really just need to go for it next time and not worry about getting wet hopefully I'll have a chance soon I've got my great shark ready come on that pink fish was so close again I, I think I've caught it. No, it escaped. Did you see that? No, that was almost unfair. I caught the tail of the yellow fish and it managed to escape my jaws. So um, clearly I haven't got as many teeth as I need in my shark here. Maybe I need to add some rubber teeth. But um, that yellow fish, fair enough, escaped. These angel fish do seem to be able to avoid sharks. Let's try it again. Let's see what they can get. Maybe the pink one. The pink one's the number one I'm really after. He's been very elusive and keep skulking down the bottom there where I don't want him to. I want him to float up a little bit and coming towards me. That yellow fish is listening, he's helping me. I hope, no, no, he's not going to give me a hand at all. So let's just see whether I get a chance to get the angel fish for supper. Come on shark, you're getting hungry. That hammerhead shark's not going to fill you up all day. But at the moment they're being very elusive. Now there's only a few fish in the bowl. I think these two guys are going to manage to escape me for now. So I need to either have a patient waiting game or I need to rethink my strategy and perhaps reorganize the coral into uh, or maybe add extra coral to try to deflect them a little bit and a bit more the way I'd play with hex bug nanos. So maybe I'm going to try to think about adding little uh, blockers and or turners inside here because anything that sinks or I can stick to the bottom will absolutely work and these fish as long as it's not to an acute an angle and I don't trap the fish will certainly uh, swim around obstacles so I think we've got here the basis for a new game and I think even though I'm being particularly rubbish at catching any of these fish at the moment I think that really shows the quality of the angel fish um, I don't think I'm the best fisherman going but certainly there's a lot of fun here and it's certainly a waiting game and uh, one you've got to master both the timing and the location with a diffraction of the light. You're never going to quite get it even if you had your eyes down on the side level. It's really quite difficult to be sure where the fish is um, before you actually commit your shark to doing a grab. And I think it's quite clever because you, you push the shark down a little bit and its mouth will shut. So I've got to really bring it all the way back up to reload. You can't just go down there and go chomp, 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 chomp. Once it's gone down and bitten, that's it. You've got to really bring it back up again before it'll open its mouth again, which I think is great. So you can't just stay in the water hovering, trying to have a, a nibble as they go by. So I want to just give it another couple of minutes, but I think I've given you a demonstration of all the technology, the lights, the tapping on the bowl to wake them up. Oh, and just as it's coming to a close, look at that. I've caught myself another second fish and I've even caught the pink one. So fantastic. This shark's proven his worth. I'm really happy with that. So I hope you enjoy this video. Please feel free to like, subscribe and comment and expect more Shark Tank Wars on this channel.